I had reached a point in life when taking care of a home was cumbersome. It was too much. And I needed to free myself. I thought I would live in my home forever. And I came here and I looked at it and I said, hey, this is nice. I made an appointment to come to see it. And of course, I was so impressed. You know, it's so beautiful. I think Hollenbeck Palms is wonderful because I can go in my apartment look forward to the activities that they have here. I have very good friends that I made here. It just, it's a fabulous way to live. It's beautiful and it's, it's, it's just, everyone is just as nice as they can be. We have lectures and we have a lot of uh, professional musicians who come in and entertain us. And if you did everything that was on the calendar, you would be up 24 hours. <laughs> I'm not very good, but I do line dancing, square dancing. I do Tai Chi. I do the daily exercise program they have. Uh, we've gone on some excursions. We saw a great stage play called Follies. We've been to the museums, uh, the Getty, both in Malibu and in West LA, the racetrack in Del Mar, and they take care of everything. They even supply you with sun hats. There is even a bus that takes you uh, shopping. It's a very, very good location because the freeways are very close. Going north, south, east, west, it's all close around here, right downtown. I have a, someone coming in to clean twice a month, and that's a big help. And they even do the laundry for you if you want them to, you know, and uh, you can really get spoiled. Getting three meals a day, you don't have to worry about cooking. They have Hawaiian and Mexican food and Japanese food, so you get a variety. You go eat dinner and breakfast is real good and, and you get that feeling of this is a good way to live. One of the things that I think was attractive about Hollenbeck was that it is continuing care. A lot of my friends who are elderly get rushed to a hospital and then from there they have to go and find another place, a rehab place, and then after that they can't live by themselves, so then they have to find a third place. And it's a crunch situation, so you're not really making real good judgment, you know. So it's better to do it while you're still able and healthy. You don't want to have to come here because you're ill. You want to take advantage of the nice facility that they have here. I have my apartment. If something should, I need a little more care, I can then get assisted living. We all take care of each other, and we don't judge anyone. We treat the person with a, in a walker or with, we're all the same, we're willing to help each other out. I have a lot less worries. I have um, met a lot of very nice people. I've come in contact with people that are absolutely the most intelligent people you would ever want to meet any place. This is like a home for me now. It is my home. And I'm very, very comfortable here. And I like it. It's a beautiful place. Looking at the sky and the property and you know, the greenery. And once in a while, there'll be an animal crossing by. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous.